Hello everyone. Welcome back to another podcast. Uh, this one is on sexual dominance. <laughs> sexual dominance. It's not on sexual dominance. <clears throat> sexual dominance is about your sexual dominance, not someone else's sexual dominance that they have over you or over the world or what the world is coming to with all this feminine, feminism, lack of masculinity, you know, all that, all that stuff going on. Um, so I'm going to talk about your sexual dominance so you don't have to feel like you have to worry about someone else's sexuality and their dominance that they have. Um, what I mean by dominance is uh, <clears throat> only your energy should be dominant to you. No one gender or sex is dominant to one another. <clears throat> so no one gender or sex is dominant to one another. So that means your sexuality is your business and if they like your sexuality, they can, you know, go ahead and get to know you or uh, <clears throat> turn the other way and go on their business. Uh, so, um, what can you do to not feel dominated? Well, <clears throat> We, uh, we're all created by part man and part woman. And just know that you are, uh, you have part feminine, part masculine inside you. That you are part masculine, part feminine. That you have a feminine side, you have a masculine side. And what you need to do is uh, acknowledge that you have both energies um, and balance them. So there's an imbalance within masculinity and femin feminism, and there, you can have an imbalance of masculinity, you can have an imbalance of just feminine energy, and you can balance both your masculine and your feminine energy so they don't, you know, go, go, so they don't imbalance. <clears throat> so let's, let's get into this. So, uh, what does masculinity help? So masculinity is the male, um, like testosterone, um, so I got positive and negatives. There's positive and negatives. Um, some of the positives are independence, solitude, and courage. The masculinity, um, is a trait in, in male behavior that males are more independent and they have, uh, solitude and courage. Um, that masculinity will, will make them be go find their own path and um and be strong to uh feel that strength feel the power of masculinity and have courage and bring some solitude and they're independent like that and um um the negative side are suppression anger ego and aggression so some some of the things when it comes to masculinity, like testosterone, when you have too much imbalance of uh, too much testosterone or too little testosterone, you, you suffer from um, suppression, anger, ego, and aggression. Um, too much testosterone can make you aggressive um, and also be self-absorbent with your ego. So masculinity can bring egotistical behavior anger and um also suppressing your feelings and thoughts and just being like oh my man i don't want to feel, feel my feelings and thoughts i don't want to talk for that so suppression is <clears throat> suppression is a, a a uh important thing to know about masculinity um but if you're balanced with your positive and negatives if you're balanced with your masculinity um and you take care of these things you don't suppress them you don't get angry you don't give to your ego, your ego or you get aggressive. Um, some balancing into your feminine traits can, can help balance your masculine, your masculine uh, traits. So uh, what does feminism help? <clears throat> the positive side is uh, social, emotional, and empathetic support. So feminine, like women, are known for being social and um, caring and loving and uh, nurturing 
Um, they're not suppressing their feelings, they're not suppressing their thoughts, they're more about expressing their feelings and thoughts, and, um, and um, they're known to be caregivers and um, nurture. Um, some of the negative things on feminism is entitlement, fickleness, controlling behavior, immaturity, and insecurity. So when, it, when, you're, when your feminist traits are imbalanced, you can, you can see people um, act off entitlement where since they're socially connected, um, they, they might feel an entitlement that they are important, they're more important than anyone else, that they do this and that for you. So they have this self-entitlement where they feel like they are, uh, they're the, uh, you know, holy or some wholesome or not, not just, you know, just divine, I guess, in some arrogant way. Um, I mean, it is divine to be loving and caring, but um, it's not that wholesome to be entitled, self-entitled. And fickleness, um, you know, like when they say um, that women, you know, change their mind a lot and that they're, that's like feminist, a uh, fe feminist thing to do is to change your mind and to... Um, to not stick to your guns and to always always have a changing mind and, and not be uh, not go with your uh, not go with your gut and um, stick to the stick to the story where you want to change your mind and, and, and do different things and that could be that could be a good thing if you um, if you want ideas you know if you if you're trying to change the story when you're being social. But also, you want you don't want to change your mind too much because that that shows a sign of inconsistency, and and on, and you can't be trusted if you change your mind so much. So these are some of the negative sides of feminism. Um, controlling behavior when they get controlling, since they feel a strong connection with socialness, um, they uh, they might feel dependent on a relationship, and if they can't get that nurturing, they get in the relationship back from from what they're giving they might feel to uh, control the whole relationship or control whoever just to get that that um, notoriety I guess to get that that um, entitlement to get that position the power of controlling the situation all the time um, and when you're fickle and you're controlling it's it's it's, it's crazy um, also women are are more youthful than men um basically because uh they never grow out of like an adolescent stage until like later in life um women girls mature you know early earlier than boys in puberty but uh, that's only um physically they women are naturally more immature than men um I'm not saying this is this is just imbalance. This is just imbalance, positive negative. These are the negative sides of feminism. And um, when you're imbalanced, there's plenty of mature women out there. I'll tell you that much. Um, but also insecurity comes with the uh, the dependence in a relationship, and not being able to have that balance of masculinity of independence and, and solitude, um, or to to capture your freedom and your and your independence um, um, feeling insecure uh, because you don't have a relationship in your life or um, you can't control someone or you just can't go out and get what you want to do because uh, you don't know how or you need someone else to do it for you or something so you know but um So these are some of the uh, positive and negative things that you need to balance in male and female. Because um, men can act feminist, Fem men can act like, you know, with estrogen, they can, they have, as, 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 as long as there's an imbalance, males can act like this, females can act like, like males, they, all, all these traits. Um, but, uh, 
So, like in modern world, like today, like in, in today, in, in these times right now, 2022, um, there's definitely a trend in feminism and um, transgenderism, homosexuality, and um, yeah, it is kind of a uh, minority to see a masculine man who is balanced. There's a lot of males out there that are leaning toward the feminine, the feminine imbalance. And, um, uh, it's confusing. It gets confusing. It's, it's very confusing to see that stuff. Um, um, you also have, it's, it's almost like things are being, being reversed or, or switch, like swapped. You got, you got, female we got women turning masculine and you have males turning feminine and i'm not sure what's going on how it started i know that a lot has to do with like the trends going on like fashion um this all really happened like a long time ago back in 2000 and like maybe 2010 2005 2010 i really started seeing People steal identities going on like straight people wanted to steal from gay people because they dress nicer and then now everyone's dressed like they're gay and they got these haircuts that are like bald on the side and they got like a it's like a pineapple haircut and uh, it's completely it looks weird as shit uh, seeing some of this feminine stuff on men um, but uh yeah, so how, how to not let any of this dominate your life? Um, literally balance your your traits and, and take care of yourself. Um, I mean, think about it. If, if, if everyone's going down that direction, um, you need to go your own direction. You need to... Uh, you need to... Uh, get your... You need to set your priorities straight and know who you know what you stand for and and uh what you will or will not do um so you don't get so offended um and you can live with yourself and live, live with the world changing um also um I think I think a lot of males talk about fem feminism taking over the world, and, and um, I just feel like everyone complains. You know, I just feel like no one knows what to do. And when they talk about being man, I start laughing because some of the stuff sounds sounds egotistical, and it's like you just need to be a man. I'm like, yeah, I, I know I know what you mean, be a man. But some of the shit you're saying, you 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 sound feminine saying saying all this men shit like you, you sound like you really want to like you're into men or something like so this shit sounds crazy sounds ridiculous sounds hypocritical but uh i feel like s some of these some of these um trendy topics especially on like masculism masculism and masculinity and fem feminism um they're definitely modern in these times and uh there's good things to come from from both of them, and that's what we need to focus on. We don't need to focus on one thing. Uh, we need we need to we need to focus on who we are, not on who the other person is and, and what they're doing. Because uh, they're most likely, if it's if it's a, if it's a serious negative issue, then that we're dealing with an imbalance of of normal feminine masculine energies. And there, there's a lot of it has to contribute, like they're talking about some of the products that are available and, and social media and the propaganda going on in our culture. It starts with fashion and then food and then um, social media, so it controls how you think. And then, uh, like, that's that's what I hear a lot about is, is what, what they talk about is, is all the negative influences so what we need to do is be a positive influence on balance, on balancing all of our traits. Um, 
because we're part man, part made by part man, part part woman, and um, you have features of your mother and your father. You're not you're not made by a man and pure man, or you're not a pure woman either. You you have masculine traits. You might have masculine energies, and that's perfectly fine. Just tap into the positive sides. So uh, I uh, advise everyone to. Uh, to self-reflect and um, observe yourself and catch yourself when you see it and when you when you catch an imbalance when you feel an imbalance, if you feel like you're getting aggressive, then check into your your feminine imbalance or insecurities or something. And just go back and forth and level it out and create create what you want to do and, and build yourself and, and become a better person. All this uh, all this all this talk about about men need to rule the world or women are taking over the world and uh there no one's taking over the world man we we're all going to take over the world we're the dominance on this planet and we don't do a very good job of uh of being um very dominant with with our with our social structures we got everything working against our our own dominance of society uh we got I mean, basically, it's it's all about money, um, and greed, and and imbalance that's taken over. That's that's what's really taken over is the imbalance. So uh, definitely uh, put out a good influence, man, and um, you know, talk talk to some of these people that you feel that you, that you see an imbalance with. Try to try to engage in, into into recognizing the positive side and the uh, the balance to everything. Try to balance everything. If it doesn't work, then I guess, you know, then they're going to have to do their own work. But you don't need to let it dominate your life and let you feel insecure. Um, so, yeah. That's all I got for this one. But, um, yeah, like, comment below. Let me know what you think. Appreciate it.